Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Neeks and I'm a photographer and filmmaker. I just got the Rodecaster Pro and I'm trying to stream video games, but also in the near future start a podcast. I'm trying to figure out how to get my audio into Streamlabs OBS without it echoing or duplicating the audio from the person calling in or the person on Discord or the gameplay so that my teammates can't hear the gameplay. I was trying to figure this out for some time and I finally cracked it and I want to share that with you guys. Right now I'm using the Godox UL150s and a Sony A7S III with a Audio-Technica um, mic, the 2035 I believe, and it's hooked up to a Rodecaster Pro. So for the mix app itself, um, there's three cables connected into the back and the first one from the left is the XLR cable and that's for my mic. And then you have the USB-C cable, and then that's connected all the way to my computer. And then obviously the power cable. And then in the front, you have, um, can't see it, but it's right here, just my headphone cable. So those are the cables that you want plugged in for live streaming on a PC. So when you're live streaming and you are playing with teammates, you do not want them to hear your audio from the gameplay because it's gonna confuse a lot of things. and um, they won't be able to hear you. They'll just hear your audio. Another example of this is when you would be filming a podcast and you have somebody call in via the smartphone input or the Bluetooth input, and then they're going to be able to hear themselves and it's going to create this echo effect and conf confuse them. And then it's going to be hard to talk um, for them. So in order to do this, you need to go into the settings and cut out that output audio. And this is how we do it. So you're going to go to the gear icon top left and then you're going to go into advanced and then you're going to go into audio processing and then the first option is USB mix minus. You're going to turn that on if it's off already. So mine's already on. I'm going to leave it as is, but turn, go ahead and turn that on and then that's going to cut out all of the audio that is going to that person or to your teammates. So now you're in Streamlabs OBS and you need to set up your Rodecaster Pro. The first thing you're gonna do is go down to the settings, system preferences, and then you're gonna go into sound. And then for your output, you're gonna do Rodecaster Pro stereo and then input uh, Rodecaster Pro stereo as well. And then after that, you're gonna go into Streamlabs OBS. You're gonna create a new scene and then you're gonna go down to the settings icon on the bottom left, click audio, and then you're gonna, for desktop audio device one, you're gonna do default. Um, you're not gonna see the Rodecaster Pro here because you set that in the system preferences. So click default, and then for mic auxiliary device one, you're gonna click on the Rodecaster Pro stereo. And then those are gonna pop up in the mixer. Um, by default, it's gonna be on the bottom right. And um, so you have your desktop audio and your Rodecaster Pro stereo. This one right here is the mic. And so all your communications from your microphone will be here. Um, if you have any jingles on your touchpad, um, they're gonna pop up on this channel as well. And then uh, any game chat or gameplay audio will pop up on the desktop audio. And then um, from there, um, if you wanna hook up Discord on a separate channel, you can also do that. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys in this video, but it's uh, pretty simple. Um, I might make another video if you guys comment down below, let me know if you want that. And then it's pretty much good to go. Um, bonus tips, you could set um, other filters and whatnot, but ideally I would, uh, I wouldn't really wanna set any uh, other filters because you have all your processing um, on the actual Rodecaster Pro. That's one of the pros for using the Rodecaster Pro, no pun intended. Um, um, but that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Okay, so that's going to be it today. I hope this little tutorial helped you guys because if you guys were like me, I was about to give up on the Rodecaster Pro for live streaming. I did some research and I figured it out and it was actually quite simple. So hopefully this helps you guys. If you guys aren't subscribed already, please subscribe to this channel. Um, I'm going to be releasing a lot more stuff, you know, tutorials, photography tips, hacks, and social media tips and tricks also. Be sure to check out Social Fates, the other company that I'm a part of. We focus on social media marketing, whether you're a pro, a professional, you're just starting out with your business, or you have just an idea right now. We show you step by step 
on what to do to get your business going, to get more eyeballs, and so forth. Go check that out as well down below. But I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.